Amalia, good evening. Hi there, can I just make sure you can hear me okay? If you can get a wee thumbs up that you can hear me, that would be great, thanks. And then we'll just get started in a couple of minutes. If somebody can get a wee thumbs up that you can hear me. Can anybody hear me out there? Can I have a thumbs up if you can? Can I have a wee thumbs up? Can anybody hear me there? Hi there, can anybody hear me? Can I have a wee thumbs up if anybody can hear me? Okay, so can everybody hear? Can I have a thumbs up? Anybody speaking to me tonight? Hello, can I have a thumbs up, thanks? Okay. I'm not sure if anybody can actually hear me tonight, can you? Yep. Yeah. You can, brilliant, thank you, wonderful. So, thumbs up if you can hear and a wee heart if you can see me. See what we're saying. Fantastic, brilliant, delighted to hear that. So let's just get started, shall we? So we've now come into the summer season and it's a gorgeous night out there, a lot better than what it was earlier on today. So yeah, thanks guys, absolutely wonderful. So tonight, um, I can hear me, right, okay. Get up ladies, I've got a new um, mic thing, so I'm just gonna plug it in just now. So let me know, I've plugged it in. If I plug that in, can you still hear me now if I plug that mic in? So if I could get a thumbs up if anybody can hear me now. I take it not. Okay, so I'll unplug. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to have a bit of warmer, um, a more energetic um, session um, moving onwards through the, the summer period. We had summer solstice last Saturday. Um, sorry, the 21st going into the Sunday. So we're now in summer season, which is more energetic. Um, so a bit more, you know, warmer in, in your whole kind of um, asanas or postures that we're going to do tonight. So we're going to concentrate on sun salutation. Um, we'll do a bit on your, your abs um, as well. So we'll start off with both feet together. Okay. Now remember, I don't know if it's your first or 101st time in your practice, so please just be mindful of your body, okay? And by the remember, could you please um, like or sign up for the KA newsletter? The reason for that is it will keep you up to date with what's going on within KA Leisure and when they're proposing, um, or what they're proposing when we begin to open up. So obviously the golf is open just now, um, with certain restrictions on it. So moving forward, if you want to sign up for the newsletter, I'll keep you up to date with everything um, that's, that's going on and that'll let you know um, where you can be, where you can't be, um, etc. as well. Hi there Muriel, thank you for joining us. Okay, so let's just start off with feet together. Okay, so we start from the foundation um, from your feet moving upwards, so we would like the feet to be hip width apart. So if you take your heels together and take your toes out to 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock and then just straighten the feet, that will give you your hip width apart, which is effectively two fists, okay? So your two fists just fit in nicely, okay? So from here, you know, you've got your legs, you don't want them locked out, you just want them active. So it's as if your knees are coming into your thighs, okay? So you're pulling those knees up pulling the thighs up towards you, okay? Your navel will come into your spine, and then from here you're dropping your tailbone down. Okay. So the best way you can work this one out 
is taking your hands behind you, holding on to the back of your arms, okay? Still feet hip width apart, pressing into your lower back, that activates your tummy, so that's bringing your, your, you know, your, your tummy nice and active, okay? And it's tailbone's coming down. Your shoulder blades are coming together and your shoulders are going back. Your head is nice and tall and the crown of your head is going up towards the sky. So that is you, if you bring your hands back into heart centre, that's you back into mountain pose. Okay. So we're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now that's ideal if you're not congested. If you are congested, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. So let's go. So a nice big inhale and exhale. And as we inhale, the tummy begins to rise, the rib cage expand out, and the chest, you know, expands as well. And then we exhale. So once we exhale, the chest comes down, the ribs come in, and the navel comes back to spine. So you can close your eyes. Okay. Inhale. And let's exhale. We're not holding it, so there's no contraindications at all. Inhale. And exhale. And let's inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. A few more. Inhale. And exhale. Let's bring you back into the present moment. Inhale. And exhale. Let's inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, so let's open those eyes. And let's just rock from side to side, making sure that we are in alignment with our body. Okay. And then from here, let's take a nice big inhale. We're going to drop the right hand down. And as I take my right, left hand over to my right side, my left hip is coming out to the side. And then I inhale back. And exhale. My right hip's coming out to the right hand side. My left hand's coming down my left side. Inhale and exhale. Let's inhale, warming up these sides and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So let's bring those both hands up, clasping the hands, taking the hands round. Okay, shoulders are coming away from the ears, okay, remember, if we don't like wearing our shoulders as earrings, bringing them down, and then from here, inhale, exhale. Keeping those elbows on the tops of the arms in line with the ears, let's inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, and let's inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Okay, inhale, bring those hands down. I'm going to come to the core of the side of the mat. And let's have a nice big inhale. Keeping those feet hip width apart, tailbone down. And let's come down into a forward fold. So we're coming down onto a forward fold. Hands coming down onto the mat. And let's just roll up slowly. Taking the shoulders back. Okay. So from here, we're going to take the right head, ear down onto the right shoulder, coming back into centre. And again, you can see me, I'm keeping my tailbone down, my tummy's in. Back into centre. Over we go. Back into centre. Over to the left hand side. Let's inhale, keeping the shoulders down. Back nice and long. Let's 
exhale. Nice. Inhale. And exhale. Back into centre in my head. It's still crown of the head. It's still straight to the ceiling. Okay. So from here I'm going to go halfway circle, half a rotation. And round we go. Take those arms up. Now, I'm going to take my right hand behind and I'm twisting from the torso. And then I'm exhaling, coming back up to centre. Exhaling, coming round and facing the camera. Inhale. Exhale. And let's inhale. And exhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Last one. Bring those hands back into centre. And then from here, we're just going to come into cactus arms. And then we're just going to take your hands from here onto your thighs. Okay, and we're going to get into a nice cat cow. So we're inhaling, looking straight ahead, tailbones coming up, eyes looking forward, spine dipping down, exhale, and again inhale, and exhale, let's inhale, and last one, back to centre, bring those arms up towards the sky, Nice big forward fold, bring the hands down onto the floor, coming up onto your fingertips and then taking your right hand onto your left elbow and the left onto the right elbow and we're just going to bend the knees and we're going to rotate from side to side, a little rag doll or a dangle and then if you want to, you can take your hands down onto the floor Taking your knuckles and going from side to side. Okay, so from here, hands are coming down onto the mat. I'm bending my right knee and I'm straightening my left and then I'm alternating it so my both feet are on the floor. My tummy's tucked in. So I've got navel to spine. My shoulders are still away from my ears. Lovely. And then from here, I'm going to take my right hand up and I'm going to bind it round. Okay, so I've got my right knee bent, my left leg straight, and I've got my right arm behind me. I'm looking over my right shoulder. And then I'm dropping down, I'm taking my left right hand down onto the floor, I'm bending my left knee, straightening my right, taking my left hand up, taking it round, and binding round. Okay. Superb. And then from here, hands back onto the floor, coming back up into forward, uh, coming up, rounding that spine up, shoulders coming back, head comes up last, arms up towards the sky, nice big inhale, forward fold again. Coming onto the fingertips, hands back down, rolling that vertebrae up one at a time, you come, shoulders going back, arms coming up, nice big inhale, and exhale coming down again, keeping the shoulders away from your ears, tummy in, hands onto the floors, onto fingertips, hands back down, come back up, okay, nice big inhale, and exhale coming down. So from here, let's take one leg back, followed by the other, coming down onto all fours. We can enter child's pose. So we're taking those knees to each side of the mat. Okay. We're coming down into child's pose, so your big toes are together. Your bottom is coming down onto the heels. Your spine is coming out nice and long. Okay. Your forehead is on the floor. Now, if you can't manage to keep your back straight, use a block, use a pillow, use a hard back thick book 
and just place the block underneath your forehead, placing your forehead on the block, okay? Again, that, that's ideal if you can't manage to get your bottom down onto your heels. We will be doing quite a few down dogs tonight, so you will have a lot more flexibility by the time we are finished. And then from here, we're just going to go from side to side in that child's pose. Okay, so all I'm doing here is taking my hips and rocking my hips from side to side. So just warming up those hips. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to come into a wave. So from my child's pose, I'm coming up into all fours. Okay, and then from here, I'm coming down, chin and chest onto the floor. And then my spine is going up towards the sky. Coming down, chin and chest on the floor, spine dipping down, coming up. As if we're going into child's pose. And we'll do one more. Chin coming along that floor, coming up, rounding that spine. And then back down, as if we were in that child's pose. And then from here, coming up, going into cobra. So we're taking the tummy down onto the floor. So we have options here. We've got baby cobra, we've got medium cobra, and we've got a strong cobra. So from here, if you want to come into baby cobra, okay, again, let's start from the feet. So you're looking at your legs being active here. So the front of your feet and your toes are into the floor. Your hands for baby cobra are just at the side. So your elbows are in line with your shoulders. Okay, And all we're gonna do here is bring the chest up. So we're getting a little bit of a back bend here, strengthening that back. A little bit of work in this destroying torso here as well. Not a great deal because we're in baby, but you're still getting a stretch. If you want to come into medium, come down. Let's take the hands towards the rib cage, keeping the elbows still in towards the ribs as well. We come up, inhale, taking the navel off the floor. So we're up, it's much stronger, okay? And if you want to go on strong, from here, you're taking your knees, the only things that are on the floor are your hands and the front of your feet. So that's strong, medium, and baby. Your choice throughout the, when we're doing our sun salutations, you will have the choice of these three. So from here we're coming up into all fours and we're coming into a spinal balance. So we're looking for your wrists underneath your shoulders, tummy's nice and tucked in. I'm taking my right arm out and my left leg. My toes are coming down to face the floor, doing a spinal balance here. So we're just going to hold here for a second or two, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose as well if you can. From here, we're going to take your right hand behind you taking your left foot into the right hand and we're just stretching out that quad. And then let's go. And then placing the hand and the knee back down on the floor. Opposite side, again, spinal balance, toes facing towards the mat, fingers coming straight to your wall. And then we're gonna bend the back knee, taking the left hand behind you, getting the foot into the hand Lovely. Fantastic. And now let's go. Bringing both the hand and the knee down onto the floor. Taking the knees apart. Coming into a lovely child's pose. Superb. So from here we're coming up into down dog, which is part of your sun salutation. So you're looking for your hands just to be um, shoulder width apart. Your index finger and your thumb are your suction point. So we don't want you coming out onto your pinky side, okay, because that will just make your wrists a wee bit kind of sore. So let's bring your thumbs and your index finger in, okay, that's your suction point. So you're suctioning on with those two fingers. You're making sure you're going on to the heel of your uh, inside of your hands, okay. And then we're going to turn those toes under and we're going to lift those knees up off the floor so again, this is all part of your sun salutation. You're keeping the shoulders away from your ears. Your feet are a bit hip width apart. 
Okay, your head, it's not tight, it's relaxed, so you can move it around. Your tops of your arms are getting rolled in. The main aim here is to have your spine nice and long, so your tailbone's coming to the sky. Please make sure you have your navel into your spine. Your knees can be bent. Again, I've no idea how many times you've been at yoga. So you could be the first time tonight, and if that's the case, you know, bend your knees. You know, a bit more experienced and a bit more flexible, bring your body up, okay? You can feel those shoulder blades. Lovely. All right, so from here, let's just walk to the top of the mat. And then we're coming up. Nice big inhale, shoulders down, and a nice big exhale, coming into a forward fold. Coming onto those fingertips, hands coming down, let's go into a plank. So we've got options here. Okay. So your full plank, the wrists underneath the shoulders, okay, keeping the tummy in, or coming down onto your knees. So we're not here keeping those thighs at an angle. And then from here, we're going to enter either cobra or up dog. So your choice of cobra, whether or not you want to come in to low cobra, okay, or coming up like so, make sure we're strong. So we'll do this one to start with, that's your, you know, assisted um, plank. And then we come in to down dog. And then you would walk to the top of the mat. And then from here we make our way up. Okay, nice big inhale. Drop the shoulders down. And then from here we're coming back in again. Down into forward fold. Coming onto the fingertips, hands down. So let's go into plank again. So this time I'll do the high plank. Okay, so from here I'm coming down. And then I'm going into a full up dog. So I'll turn my feet under. As you can see, I've only got my feet and my hands on the floor. My shoulders are away from my ears. And then I'm coming up into down dog. And from here, we're going to have three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. And let's just walk, step, or jump to the top of the mat, make our way up, nice big inhale, let's do the dinky back bend, and bring those hands back down, and that ladies and gents is a full sun salutation that you have done, so from here, hi Liz, hope you're well, Victoria, good evening, so from here, let's do three full sun salutations, and at your level, okay, so, Either feet together or hip width apart, your choice for this stage. Inhale, exhale, coming forward, tummy in. Hands onto the floor, let's come up onto your fingertips, hands coming back. Right leg back, followed by the left. Your choice, whichever one you want to do. Okay, and then come up into down dog. Three breaths here. And then from here, walk to the top of the mat, step and even jump if you want to, bringing ourselves back up one vertebrae at a time. Nice big inhale, exhale. And again, nice big inhale, exhale coming forward, tummy in, hands onto the floor, fingertips up, hands down, left leg back, right leg back. Okay, your choice, whichever one you want to do. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Coming back up. Three nice big breaths here. You can, if you wish, start to do a new jai breath, which is a, like um, you're steaming up a window or a mirror. Okay, so you're closing off the glottis or at the back of the throat. The tongue is coming up to the top of your mouth. Lips are sealed. And you're making a a noise, a bit like Darth Vader. Onto your fingertips, hands down, and then from here, right leg back, left leg back. Your choice, whichever one you wish to do. Okay, 
just a stronger version. Okay, three breaths here. You dry breath if you wish. We say close off the back of the throat. Come to the top of the mouth. Let's come to the top of the mat. And inhale up the cup. Lovely. And exhale. Inhale up the cup. Exhale coming forward. Hands coming onto the mat, onto your fingertips. Hands back down. Left leg back, followed by the right. Do your choice. Coming up. It's just a stronger version that I'm doing. Your choice. Three breaths here. You dry breath if you can manage it. You can be as noisy with this breath. And then make your way to the top of the mat. Okay, and then from here. Nice big inhale. Three full sun salutations done. Okay. So let's come up. Nice big inhale. Forward fold. Coming onto your fingertips. Down. And then from here, coming back out. And we're coming down. And from here, we're coming up to an up dog. And then from here, we're going on to your knees. And we're just coming down into a nice child's pose. Now, you should be a heck of a lot warmer after that. I don't know about you guys, but the sweat is running off me. I don't know if that's because I've been eating birthday cake all afternoon. It's my little grandson's birthday, so yes. Celebrations all around today. And then from here, we're coming up into a nice big down dog. Okay. And then from here, let's just walk to the top of the mat. Okay, a nice big inhale. Up the come. So Santal, Santal, no, put the teeth in, Sun Salutation, no I wasn't drinking this afternoon. Sun Salutation will strengthen all the body and even if you do a few of these each morning you will find a huge big difference, okay. So now let's bring the arms up, taking the left leg back, let's come into a high lunge. Okay. So from here I've got my hips coming forward, same as my arms. I'm in this nice big high lunge, I'm in the back, the ball of my back foot. So from here I'm going to trans transition in to warrior two. So my back foot is now going into a 90 degree angle. Okay. So I've got 45 feet between my heel and my medial arch. So I've got here, nice and low. Okay. Front knees bent, knees coming out to the pinky toe side. Hips coming towards the screen, same as my shoulders, arms are coming out nice and long. So we don't want you here in the future, certainly don't want you in the past, we want you in the present moment. So from here, we're in warrior two. Okay, so we've got long strength in the back leg, tailbone coming down, navel coming in. Sorry, tummy tucked in. Arms coming out, looking at that big long finger. Reverse warrior, palm coming up towards the sky. Inhale, taking the hand down the back of the back thigh. Okay, feel that stretch. This is a side bend. So your intercostal muscles are getting really opened up here. Okay, and then from here, keeping the front knee bent. Exhale, coming forward. Taking the arm on top of the thigh. Or take it to the next level, which is taking the hand behind your right ankle to your pinky toe side. If you've got a block, you can use a block as well. Okay, and then from here, inhale, reverse warrior, coming over. Again, coming forward, options. Forearm onto thigh, or drop the right hand down onto the floor. Keeping that top arm up, looking up at that thumb. Coming back up into warrior two. Last time, reverse warrior. Coming over. And then coming back. Options. Forearm onto thigh. Coming over. Or 
taking the hand down to the floor. Super. Excellent. And then from here, let's make our way back up. We're in warrior two. Shoulders away again. Remember, ladies and gents, they are not earrings. Okay. So from here, we're going to get into triangle. So we're going to straighten the front leg. Going to come forward. And we're taking the back of the hand into the inside of the calf. Shoulders are stacked. So how do we do that? We bring one shoulder forward, the bottom shoulder forward towards the camera. Top one's going up straight. It's going back. Shoulders are stacked. Let's have a few breaths here. I'm looking up at this thumb. And then from here, bend the front knee. Back into warrior two. Taking the back hand forward. And then from here, we're back into high lunge. Okay, lovely. So from here, we're bringing the hand forward. Okay, we're taking the right leg back. Okay, we're coming down. We're coming up into an up dog. Turning those toes under. Into a down dog, couple of breaths here. I'm gonna end up with my back towards you, ladies and gents, apologies. Left leg's coming forward. Okay. Coming into that high lunge. Keeping that front knee bent. And then from here, transition into warrior two. Same position as we've done before. Tailbone nice and long, tummy tucked in. Shoulders, same way as the hips. Arms nice and long, looking at that long finger. Knee bent, coming out towards the pinky toe. Reverse warrior, front palm up towards the sky. Coming up, taking the hand down the back. Excellent. And then coming forward, your option here, okay, either the forearm onto the thigh or take the hand down onto the floor. I've just got my fingertips tonight because I'm running before I went out this morning. Okay, a bit tight. And then from here, coming back up into warrior two. Can't wait to get a nice massage off this lovely Les Somerville who's here tonight. The most amazing, magical fingers in the whole of North Ayrshire. And then coming back. Coming forward. Your choice. Okay, she can work wonders releasing any tension in your body with muscle spasms. And then back up. Coming into reverse warrior. Okay. Coming back in. Choice. Forearm into thigh. Or taking that hand down onto the floor. And then back up again. Into warrior two. So let's move into triangle. So my back hip is coming up. Front leg is beginning to straighten. I'm coming forward. I'm taking the back of my hand down. Taking it to the inside of that calf. So again, I'm looking to stack my shoulders. So my bottom shoulder coming forward, top one's going back. Lovely. Looking up at that thumb. Superb. And then from here, let's come forward, back in, do that high lunge. Where's the time going, away from tonight? And then from here, let's come forward. And we're coming in to, oops, it is it. We're taking into a down dog. So from here, let's bring those feet together. So now we're gonna go into a side plank. So again, we've got options, but I'll go for the hardest one first and work my way down. So I'm getting onto my right toes, which means I'm gonna be facing you guys, okay? So I'm going onto my toes, I'm going onto the side of my foot. I'm making sure that my wrist is underneath my shoulder and I've got my ankles stacked on top of each other. My hips are coming up and I'm in a nice big side plank. Okay, a lot of strength here. Okay, 
So your options, take the bottom leg and it's like a gate pose. So I'm on my knee and I'm still lifting my hips up. Okay, so that's your second choice. Still getting a stretch. Your third choice is taking your forearm down to the floor, okay, and you're just coming up. Okay, as long as your hips are off that floor, you're doing grand. Okay, so whatever level you're at, you're now going to take your hand over the top of your head, stretching that hand out. Fantastic. And then from here. Place the hands onto the floor, coming back into another plank. Okay. And again, sorry ladies and gents, my back's going towards you. So feet are together, I'm coming on to the high plank again. So I'm getting to high plank, lifting that hip up. You can, if you want to, have your feet in front of each other. Okay. Or bend your knee, taking your arm up towards the sky or come down with your forearm onto the floor lifting up that hip. Whatever level you're at let's take the hand over. So whether you're in this level okay, or whether you're in this level or whether you're here. Your choice. Arm coming over. And then from here, let's bring the arm forward, dropping the knees onto the floor, and we're in all fours. So we've done a spinal um, balance earlier on, so we'll do that one again. So we're taking the right arm and the left leg out, fingers coming forward, toes looking down at the mat. Superb. And then let's just take the hand down onto the floor, looking into a down dog. Feet are hip width apart. Again, remember your thumb and your forefinger. Okay, we're not on the outside of the hands or the pinkies. You're coming in, okay? And then we're going to walk the dog. Bearing in mind it's a spinal one here, although we're working every muscle in our body. You know, we are looking to have the arms turned in. We are looking for the head to be nice and relaxed. Superb. And then from here, let's come back down into all fours. And we're going to take the left arm out and the right foot towards the tootsies. And it's already towards the floor. Spinal balance again. And then we drop down, we're coming into child's pose. Now you can keep your feet, your legs closer together. Still coming down onto those hips, onto the, the heels, taking the arms behind you this time. You're pulling your shoulders away from your body. Superb. Okay, and just hold it here for a few breaths. And then let's make our way out. Okay. And then from here, we're going to come into a nice pigeon. So I'll face you guys for this one. So we're coming up into down dog, okay, as you have always done tonight. So let's raise the right leg up towards the sky. We're going to bring that knee into the nose, taking it back up towards the sky, bringing it back down, let's touch the right knee to elbow, taking it across to the left, taking it back up to the sky, nice and high, let's bring it down and let's take that knee out to the right side of your right wrist. So I've still got both hands on the floor, my heel is just at my groin, okay. and my back leg's nice and long. If I want a deeper stretch in the back leg, what you'll do is lift that knee up and push the foot away. Okay. You've got options here. You can stay in your hands, you can go onto your fingertips, or you can come down in your forearms. 
you're looking for your spine to be nice and long and level here and this is where I would normally check the incline but I can't do that okay wonderful so from here let's walk those hands back in and then we're going to go on to the back knee taking the left hand behind taking the foot into that hand taking the heel the left heel into the left buttock and giving your quad ball a nice big stretch Jeez, well that's what I get for going for our early early doors this morning yes uh -huh. wonderful and let, let's just release okay. so from here let's turn those toes under and uh, let's take the right leg up toward the sky and bring it back down again so from here left leg coming up Bring that knee to nose. The legs take it up towards the sky. The legs take elbow to knee, and then the legs take it across to the other side, taking it nice and high. And then from here, let's bring that knee down to the outside of the left wrist. I'm dropping my right knee down onto the floor, going onto my fingertips. Okay, sorry, even going onto my toes, that's better. And then if I want to stretch that out, I'm just taking my knee up off the floor and stretching my foot away. My heel is underneath my groin. Okay. And my hands are still on that mat. So we have options again. Stay here or come onto your fingertips or come down onto your forearms. Looking straight ahead. Back should be nice and low. Excellent. And then from here, let's take the hands back in again. Okay, and then turn the knee up. Okay, take hold in that right foot with your right hand, bringing the right heel into your, the right buttock. And yes, you will feel a nice big stretch in that cord. Yes, wow, wonderful. And then let go. And then from here, turn the toes under. And then back up into your down dog. Nice big stretch in your back. Your spine should be a lot more flexible now. Superb. Lovely. And then let's just walk to the top of the mat. Making our way up into a forward fold. Nice big inhale. And exhale coming forward. Bringing those fingertips up and then up we come. Okay, nice big inhale. And release. Okay, so from here we'll do a nice little tree pose, just a wee bit different tonight. So left leg's your active leg, so again, just a wee minuscule bend in it. We don't want it locked out. Okay. We're going on to the ball of the right foot. Okay, again, navel to spine, tailbone long, shoulders away from the ear, spine. Nice and long. If you need, if you're feeling a bit wobbly tonight, you can hold on to the back of the sofa, even a chair, or if you've got a little one hanging around, you know, if they're the right height, you can hold on to them. Okay. Grandkids and small kids do come in handy. So level one, heel against the ankle. Level two, taking the ball of the, the feet, ball of the foot either, a sole of the foot up to the calf. And the third level, if you can manage, and it's not always you, sometimes it's the trousers. Okay, and then from here, okay, we're going to pull the pelvic floor up, we're going to breathe in, and as we breathe in, we take the arms up towards the sky. You're focusing something here that's not moving. Wonderful. Shoulders away from the ears. Okay, pulling that waist in. And then let's go into cactus arms. And then from here, we're going to twist round. So we're twisting round and looking to the right hand side. And then we come back and then we drop the knee down. Okay, lovely. Nice big inhale. Let's do the same on the other side now. So right leg's your active leg, again, not locked out. We're on the ball of the left foot and we've got the heel against the ankle. Okay, so from here, level one, hands are at heart centre. Level two, so with the foot up towards the calf. And the third level, 
that is taken up towards your thigh. Please don't go onto your knee, you'll cause yourself some damage. Just look at something that is not moving. Wonderful. So from here, inhale. And as we inhale, the pelvic floor is coming up, the waist is coming in. Okay. And then we're going to go out into cactus arms. And then we're going to twist, and as we turn from the torso, I'm looking out at the lovely green fields. Lovely and sunny out there. And then we come back into centre, and then we come back down. Nice big inhale. And release, how are you doing for time? Okay, wonderful, doesn't time fly when you're having fun. Nice big inhale. And exhale. So now we're going to do some abs. Okay, so start off with, um, come back into all fours. Okay, so let's have a nice big inhale. And let's come down onto all fours. So from here, we're going back into tiger, but slightly different. So I'm taking my right arm out and my left arm. And then from here, I'm doing my obliques. So I'm bringing my elbow into my knee. And then take it away. So inhale. And take it away. And inhale. And take it away. Dropping the hands down onto the floor. Other side. Okay. So my elbow's coming into my knee. And you can feel it. Working on your sides, so if you're going for your waists, and superb, hands back down on the floor. So from here we're going into down dog. So we'll get your hands onto the floor as we have been doing all evening, turning those toes up, or toes, toes under, coming into down dog. Let's have the feet together, and all we're doing here is twisting, so my toes my feet are together, but my toes are now coming round towards the camera. And I'm feeling that stretch coming right down my left side. And then I'm coming back into centre. Going the opposite way. Feeling that stretch coming down my right side. Back into centre. Over to the left side. Yes, I do feel that. Back into centre. Over we go to the left side, back into centre, over to the right, back into centre, and over to the left. And then from here, let's just drop the knees down onto the floor. Okay. And then we're going to come on to the back. So we're going to do um, some abs here. Uh, and they will be in fire when you are finished, so fairly bonfire, really. So we're coming down on to your back, okay? And we're going to take your hands behind your head. So just gently. Your knees are coming in, so they're nice and long here. Your thighs are nice and long, your shins are coming up towards the sky. So see hands behind your head. And then from here, inhale. Knees coming in towards your elbows. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And again. Lovely. And two more. So from here, let's just keep the legs where they are. And all we're going to do here now is take the hands behind the head again. Okay? And we're taking the shoulders up, keeping the arms back. And you can feel the difference coming up here. Okay. Breathe out as you come up. Oh wow, feel that today. And released, okay. So one more we've been doing, come up. So we've been doing the Vasana um, quite a lot of times, which is this one here, but we can move on from that one, okay. So for those that have been coming for, for a wee while. So what you're looking at is your Navasana. You're taking your legs out, okay. 
and then you're taking your hands away. Okay, so this is coming in, and you can still hold on to your legs. Okay, inhale. There we go. Or you can let go. If you're finding this too strong, you can come down with a straight back, taking your feet onto the floor, and your big toes and just here, or take them legs up and just hold on. Okay, but this is just the next level for this one because we've been here now for quite a few weeks. And yes, I know some people have been dipping in and dipping out, but for those that have been regular, it's nice just to do something a wee bit warmer because it is um, the summer and it is a bit more energetic. Lovely. Okay. And then from here, let's just come down onto your back, stretching those arms and toes away. Okay. And then I'm just going to come round onto your tummy. So we're going to go into a cobra here. Because although we're stretching out the back earlier on, we're now using it to stretch out the torso. So again, you've got your feet nice and active. Your hands can be whatever you want them to be. Baby cobra, okay, strong cobra or medium cobra or strong cobra, keeping the shoulders away from your ears. So you can feel the stretch coming right down the front of that torso. But you're also working your back at the same time, keeping that tummy in. Superb. Lovely. And then let's bring the head down onto the floor, forehead onto the mat. Let's take hands behind us, holding on to both ankles. Okay. Going again to full pose. So from here, we're going to inhale, and as we come up, we're taking the thighs off the back of the mat, or the floor even. Taking your shoulder blades together, looking straight ahead. Yep, quite a strong one. Keep it, try and keep your, your heels together. We don't want your legs out here. We want them as close together as you can. And then release down, taking those hands underneath the forehead as a pillow. Lovely. And then let's do one more. So let's bend those knees, holding on to those ankles, and then from here up we come. Superb. Excellent. And release down. Opposite hand now for your pillow, just underneath that forehead. And then from here, let's come up into all fours. Okay. Again, let's come round. And we're going to do a nice little um, butterfly here. So what I'll face you guys. Okay, so we're coming into a seated position. There's various different ways you can do butterfly. Okay, this is one of them. Okay. So we're taking the soles of the feet together, taking them away from you. And then we're just going to hold on to the toes taking the elbows into the, just at the crease of the knees and pushing them away. You're opening up your thighs here, stretching out your back. Okay, if we were doing a yin a class, we'd be holding this for about three, between three and five minutes, but we're not tonight. So breathe in through your nose and out. In through the nose and out. And again. Bring your body back down again. And you've worked really well tonight, guys, because that's quite a tough, energetic um, flow. Okay. And then release. Okay. But let's bring the legs out nice and low. I'm going to take my left leg out to the side, and I'm taking the sole of the foot in towards my left thigh, okay, my right hand's coming on to my right thigh and my big toe, my left side is facing on to my hip, taking the knuckles onto the floor and I'm just lifting my bottom up to make sure that my sit bones are on the floor, okay. 
So from here, I'm raising my left arm up and I'm coming forward. Yogi toe, index finger, long finger in between the big toe and the second toe. Okay. Again, if you can't reach here, you can use your thigh, you can use your shin. If you have a strap, a belt, a tie, a dressing gown strap, whatever you want to use. Let's take the right arm up, taking it over. Nice big stretch here. Superb. And release. Okay, so we're going to take the left hand round onto the right knee and we're just twisting round. Excellent. Coming back into centre. Taking the right hand over to the left knee, looking over the left shoulder. Excellent. And back into centre. Let's swap legs. So my right leg's now going out nice and long. Sole of the foot's coming into the right thigh. Knuckles onto the floor. Sit bones are okay. Left hand's pushing into my left thigh. Big toe is in line with my right hip. Right hand's coming up. Coming over. Again, use the strap if you want to. Okay, if you don't have one, you can only manage your thigh. You're shedding your ankle. That's fine. Raise the left arm up, bringing it across. Okay, wonderful. Superb. And then from here, back up, taking the right hand over to the left knee. And we're just looking behind us. We've still got that two metre distance, so just look behind and make sure there's nobody behind you. And then come forward, taking the left hand onto the right knee, looking behind the right side. Excellent. Let's come back into centre, with both legs nice and long. Pashimotanasana. Okay, so again, knuckles onto the floor, making sure the bottom, the tailbone is on the mat. Shoulders away from your ears, back's nice and long. Nice big inhale, toes are up towards the sky, calves are in through the floor. We're tipping from the hip and we're coming forward. Hands come on top of those toes. Again, if you can't manage that, you can go onto your thighs, your shins, your ankles. Use a strap. Okay. Bring yourself forward. Excellent. Doing great, guys. It's so nice out there. I really do appreciate you coming along. And then from here, let's inhale. So if you're on your toes, come down to the sides of your feet. You can touch your fingers. Great, but just remember keeping your head up because remember your head weighs that stone, at least. Again, if you're using the strap, come down the strap a bit more. If you're on your thighs, come down to your shins, shins onto your ankles, ankles onto more forward to your feet. Excellent. And then last stretch, left foot last breath rather, inhale and then come forward okay so if you can clasp your hands we're going to get those forearms onto the shins coming forward excellent superb keeping that head up excellent and then from here just make your way back up let's have a nice big inhale and let's exhale. So from here, let's just lie down slowly on your mat. Okay, so we're coming down very, very slowly. Okay. Taking the legs away from your body. Arms overhead. Fingertips facing away from you. Toes. Okay. Come on up. So let's take the feet away to each side of your mat with your ankles flopping out. Let's bring those arms down. Touch the side of the thighs, of the hips, and then take the arms away with your palms facing up towards the sky. Rotate that head to make sure that you're in alignment. Once you feel your, your body's right, just relax. Let's bring the chin into your chest. Let's have a nice big inhale. 
and let's exhale through the mouth. Let's inhale and exhale. And let's inhale and exhale. Let's close those eyes. Back to normal breath. And then Shavasana. So please stay here for just as long as you wish. Thank you to those that stayed last week for the wee extra yoga nidra. It was wonderful. So just start to feel the calm and the relaxation come back into your body. Stay here for as long as you wish. When you're coming out, give yourself a stretch, bring your knees into your chest, and then come up slowly. And while you're doing that, I'll give you a little kind of clip from Eileen Caddy. So unless you allow a very small child to do things for itself, to feed itself, to walk, to dress itself, to write, to draw, to express itself, it will never develop and become independent and be able to stand at its own feet and make its own decisions. You have to stand back and allow it to make mistakes and to take a long time to master and just allow it to take a long time to master what it's learning to do. You have to be very patient and wait and watch, no matter how tempted you are to do it for the child to save time. Open your eyes and realise that life is a classroom and a school and you are learning all the time. How often do you have to stand back and very lovingly watch a child or yourself even fumbling and struggling with life so that you can learn a vitally important lesson a lesson never to be forgotten once it has been learned and mastered have infinite love and patience so with that ladies and gents i'd just like to say thank you so much for coming along wish you happiness good health and a peaceful evening and from here i'd like to just say namaste thank you so much for coming in in such a glorious glorious 